Can anyone truly say that they're surprised here? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the USA's very first transgender elected state rep who has been caught with some very inappropriate things on his computer. Now, y'all got to put two and two together for the moment because of YouTube. I'll get to what he had on his computer in a little bit, but we all know what's going on. Now, here's a question I asked from the very beginning. Is anyone surprised? Are you surprised here? Nobody should be surprised at all because everybody sees where the movement for that particular side of the fence is going. You got regular normie gay people who are like, what's going on in our country? Like, what is happening? If somebody happened to be gay or whatever, who cares? Y'all are two consenting adults. I have no problem. But see... The problem we have now is that kids are being brought into the mix. That's my problem. Y'all want to be two adults doing whatever you want to do behind closed doors. That's your business, not mine. I don't particularly care. I'm not a hater. Y'all go ahead and go for it. That's not my lifestyle. I'm not interested in it. As long as we can respect that and I'm not brought it, I'm not dragged into it. That's fine. And as long as you leave the kids alone, I'm fine. But a lot of these people cannot leave the kids alone. And here we are. Here we are. We know what they are doing. We know where it's going. Here we have a prime example of it. Now, before I go any further, we have an article. Y'all see what it says. That's that's the guy right there. Uh, Nation's first elected transgender state rep arrested on CP charges. Okay. Locked up, arrested. And there is a lengthy rap sheet here of other stuff we'll get into in a minute. So this person is a criminal and has been for a very long time. We're going to get into it. You see what it says here. A former New Hampshire state representative and a nation's first transgender identifying state lawmaker was arrested by police this week and charged for allegedly distributing CP. Stacy Marie Lawson. I don't know this person's birth name, but that's what the name is right there on the screen. Stacey Marie Lawson, a Democrat who previously resigned twice from the New Hampshire State House, is now facing four counts of distributing sexually explicit images of children. Lawton was born Barry Charles Lawton Jr. Okay, so now we have the birth name. Let's keep on going. National Police Department Public Information Officer Sergeant John Sinelli said that police were called to respond to a juvenile incident on Tuesday and then were told that the former lawmaker had been distributing explicit images on Thursday police searched Lawton's house and arrested him. Former state rep, there he is. That's a mugshot. There's another story right there. And I will link to everything I'm talking about right now in the box so you can see it for yourself. Quote, they spoke with reporting parties that indicated Lawton distributed sexually explicit images of children, Sinelli said, according to Patch. Detectives from the Special Investigations Division were assigned to further the investigation. They applied for and were granted a warrant for Lawton's arrest. Lawton is slated to be arraigned on Friday at the Hillsborough County Superior Court South. The 39-year-old was being plagued by repeated legal troubles in the past. In 2008, he was convicted of credit card felony, according to the New Hampshire Union leader. In 2012, Lawton became the first trans-identifying person elected as state lawmaker, thrilling LGBT activist. Let's pause right here for a minute. Now, I think there are a lot of criminals that exist in this country. And they want to have any kind of advantage necessary to accomplish their goal. And part of the way they gain an advantage is by identifying as LGBT, by identifying as transgender or whatever the case may be. I saw a story where a criminal, a guy who was locked up in prison, he identified as transgender, got sent to the women's prison and then got not one but two inmates pregnant. Now, that's got to be sexual assault, right? Because... Y'all cannot consent to any kind of relations because you're you're prisoners, you're state property. Maybe that is a little bit incorrect as far as the reasoning, but you can't do that in prison. Not only was there some fornication going on, there was a pregnancy, two pregnancies at that in prison. Criminals do things like this. So people are trying to assign this altruism, but all you're going to do is have criminals take it and have it benefit them. This is what's going on. Guys like this are going to do things like this. They're going to try to hide behind the banner of LGBT, but out here literally committing crimes. Literally. There's a rap sheet. 
Quote, I believe that at this point, the LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community will hopefully be inspired, Lawton said at the time. My hope is that now maybe we'll see more people in the community running, maybe for aldermen, maybe in the next election, we'll have a senator. Shortly after the election, Lawton stepped down after the credit card fraud allegations came to light. Lawton was later sentenced to six months in the penitentiary or jail. After reporting a bomb threat to a hospital in 2015, in July 2021, Lawton was arrested for giving police false information. This is a repeat criminal, all kind of like a variety of things, not just one thing, not just dealing with the children, which is the worst thing. You got credit card fraud, bomb threats, uh, lying to the police. And I think there's one more thing that he did here. We'll get to in a minute. Oh, here it is. Lawton won election to the state house again in November 2022 only to step down in December after accusations of stalking. Lawton had been arrested on stalking charges twice in 2022, including an incident in September, this month before the election. I'm alive, safe and well, Lawton said in the Facebook video at the time, announcing he was leaving politics. I'm not suicidal and just trying to get by every day with what I've been dealt. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know this. There's a lot of good opportunities out there for me to serve and a lot of the opportunities for me to still stay connected with everyone. I plan to do that. Okay, so here's my question. How was this person involved with so many criminal offenses? Clearly a bad person, like the scum of society, guys like this, or girls like this, whatever the pronouns are. I don't think it really matters, right? This guy, like, who's going to come to this video and be like, well, it's she, her, ABL, this guy, look at what he did. I mean... He could actually go ahead and go to the upper room right now. Go ahead and get it done. Oh, yeller, take him out back, handle your business, okay? That could happen right here. So the pronouns are not really my concern. Pardon me if I say the wrong pronoun, okay? Uh, his his pronoun should be in uh, slash carcerated, under slash the penitentiary, bit rock slash litter rocks. That's what his pronoun should be. But back to my question. How is a person like this getting elected multiple times? It kind of reminds me of Marion Barry. And that, that's funny. His name is Barry. His birth name, Barry Charles. It reminds me of Marion Barry in D.C. when he got caught on a tape smoking crack and still got elected. <laughs> but the difference between him, actually, this guy could never hold Barry Sanders' um, pair of uh, 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 suspenders. Barry, but not Barry Sanders. Marion Barry was actually a good mayor if he lived in D.C. at the time, to a certain extent. Better than this guy right here. What has he actually done aside from just commit crime? Random crimes for no reason. But, yeah, um, that's that's that. Um, I've said it before. A lot of these guys are just wanting an opportunity to commit crime, to do the wrong thing, to victimize people, to victimize children. They'll hide under the umbrella of LGBT. Oh, respect my pronouns. I'm part of the protected class. While you out here committing crime. I, I hate that so much. And as I close, I want to say this. People like this are also going to be your school teachers. They have the kind of ideology to, to push whatever they want to push on your children. To use the opportunity to be a teacher to get close to your kids. It's similar to what they do in Catholic church. Now I'm not saying all Catholics or all churches or all priests don't get misunderstood, but there is an infiltration of the church to a certain extent where people that are like who are just show will, will become priests to get close to kids. That is what's happening here. It's easy to see. I think at a certain point it's going to take the actual regular normie gay people to step up and say, you know what? No more. There, there needs to be, like a gaze against groomers. You need those kind of groups to come out and say that people like this have no place in society. They got to get thrown up under the jail and they cannot use the banner of your particular orientation to go out here and commit crimes. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Are you surprised here that this person wound up having some very inappropriate things on in his computer? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I'm not surprised at all. You have a guy that already had a rap sheet. He was already a criminal before this. Then he says, okay, now I'm LGBT, all this, that, and the third, right? 
Now, now this guy right here, I mean, come on. A guy like this, you would see on some serial killer documentary. A serial killer. He has all the entrapments. Like, if you were to show me his picture and be like, hey, do you think this person is dangerous or has committed crimes or has some things that are very inappropriate on his personal computer or on the cell phone? I'd be like, you know what? I, I think that could happen. I most certainly do think so. They say, uh, you know, the book covered the whole thing. Okay. Calling me wrong, calling me a bigot or whatever you may. But at a certain point, I think we can just put two and two together and still get four. I think we can still do that. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.